Hello everyone, today I'm adding lights to my Christmas layout. I'm hoping to have this done just in time for Christmas. You know what else is just in time for Christmas? I've got this uh, FEF3 for sale. Now the cheapest one on eBay right now is 185 with the shipping. If you go on my website, it's uh, watchtrendsnow.com. I've got it priced at $175 with shipping. So that's a really good deal. It's $10 less than the cheapest one on eBay. Same with this GS4. I got it priced. Uh, the cheapest one on eBay right now is $169, including shipping. I got it priced at $159, including shipping. So that too is a really good deal. And they, they both uh, run super nice. Now before I start wiring my LEDs, I'm going to go over a little bit of theory with you guys. So I could wire them in series or in parallel. So the advantage of parallel is if one burns out, then the other three will be working. And the advantage of series is, especially in my case, I'm going to be using less wires. Also, um, I'm, I'm using... Uh, less resistors because in series you add the resistance so I can get away with you just using just one uh, resistance resistance is futile whereas um, if you're wiring it in parallel uh, basically you, you divide the current so the resistors uh, you have to use one resistor uh, per LED so that's what I'm going to do today, I'm going to wire them in series. For a power source, I'll be using uh, this old uh, Tyco power pack, it's on the DC side. So don't, well you could put LEDs on the AC side I guess, but I'm putting them on the DC side. And for a source of LED, I'm using these old uh, T lights, they're worth, uh, they're worth what they're worth. So uh, I'm going to desolder them and resolder them. I bought a brand new set uh, of helping hands. So I'm sure you can imagine how much easier it's going to be to show uh, soldering uh, on camera now. I've shown this before on this channel, how I use an old uh, telephone extension cord for a source of wire. I just remove uh, the insulation. I remove this uh, beige strip just to reveal the wires. Careful with the X-Acto knife not to injure yourself. But you basically just remove the, uh, the sheeting and then you've got some nice wires inside that you can use for your model railroad so uh, just this extension cord is going to last me for years 
I don't think I'm gonna be too fussy about the color that I'm using. I've been using the red and black for a while and then the yellow and green for another while. So I'm gonna keep stripping this out. I always pre-tin my wires before I try to connect them. That is the best practice. This should be good. Nice and solid. I'm gonna put a little bit uh, of uh, masking tape of electrical tape on them i've got a nice green flavor today just to keep it in the uh, in the christmas theme there that's really neat I bought the new helping hands and the, the new soldering iron because uh, I want to do some DCC conversions for you guys. Put that down in the comments below um, whether you think DCC is the future. I'm always wondering uh, how they came up with that. Uh, the voltage that they use, I think it's pretty close to max voltage. It... Uh, it helps with the power pickup so that works great excellent so they did something right um, put that down in the comments below also whether you find that uh, you have less less issues with power pickup and train stalling over um, switches with DCC I'd be interested in knowing that I have found that I have less problems with power pickup I have the first one up and running and now I've got to just string up a whole bunch more okay so I've got quite a few uh, done up some of my tea lights had the uh, RGB uh, LEDs so I'm gonna keep using them that adds a little bit of visual interest now that my lights are up now I can uh, just add my buildings and here's my completed village and now it's time to run some trains on this layout I like to run uh, my smaller engines this is a climax that I made it's all uh, all Cardo uh, drive inside so it's super smooth I'm really enjoying this I'm gonna put a link uh, in the description of how I made it this is an Athern uh, 260 with my back vent cars I like it because it's very colorful and uh, very Christmassy Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.